common rudd introduction and eutrophication are blamed for the decline of the Loch Melvin char. In 2003, a plan to relocate some of the fish to a nearby reservoir failed when no fish could be found despite extensive search. Nor was the fish observed to be spawning in its traditional spawning locations. The lake has experienced increasing levels of phosphorus as a result of agricultural activities in its catchment area, and char are notoriously sensitive to phosphorus. Another factor in the fish's decline may be the introduction into the lake of rudd and roach. The Marsican brown bear has a small, isolated population. It is found as the central Apennine Mountains in Italy where there are a range of settings like lakes, woods, and settlements of citizens. There are roughly only 50 of these bears left mainly due to loss of habitat. They are often killed accidentally by being poisoned, poached, or hit by motor vehicles. Bears often travel in Abruzzo to the high-altitude meadows in the summer, and then down to the warmer areas of valley when the temperatures start to cool. As the temperature decreases, the bears learn awareness to start looking for a dormitory, and planning out their winter. In their dens they relax and slow down, requiring less food and adjust to the colder temperatures. Bears will isolate in their dens most of winter, but are not in full hibernation, unlike most animals. Bears keep a reasonable level of consciousness and awareness to their external changes throughout the winter, and might even take a stroll on a sunny day. This period of time is where all of the fat buildup throughout the year becomes critical, as they need enough fat to burn to stay alive. They do not fully sustain themselves during this period, and use the extra fat burning off for energy reserve as well as a thermal resource. Spine dwarf mantis has only been collected once, probably in 1871 in the Tolentino area, and has not been seen since, despite extensive entomological surveys of the region. If it is still extant, it is threatened by intensive cultivation of its habitat. Photos come from its closest relative. The Bavarian pine vole is a vole from the Austrian and Bavarian Alps of Europe. It lives in moist meadows at elevations of 600 to 1000 meters. This rodent was previously known to live in only one location, in Bavaria, which was altered by the construction of a hospital in the 1980s. No specimens of this rodent were recorded after 1962 and it was thought to be extinct. However, a population apparently belonging to this species was discovered in 2000 in northern Tyrol, just across the German-Austrian border. The European sturgeon is a species of sturgeon previously found on most coasts of Europe. It is anadromous and breeds in rivers. Like other sturgeons, they eat mollusks and crustaceans which they find with their barbels. At the beginning of the 19th century, these fish were used extensively to produce caviar, but have been a protected species in Europe since 1982. The wedge-shaped head of the European sea sturgeon ends in a long point. There are many sensitive barbels on the facial area. The dorsal fins are located very far back on the body. Five longitudinal lines of large osseous plates are found on the body of the fish. The stomach is yellow and the back is a brownish-gray. The European mink does not form large territories, possibly due to the abundance of food on the banks of small water bodies. The size of each territory varies according to the availability of food, in areas with water meadows with little food. The earliest actual records of decreases in European mink numbers occurred in Germany, having already become extinct in several areas by the middle of the 18th century. Habitat-related declines of the species numbers may have started during the Little Ice Age, which was further aggravated by human activity. As the European mink is more dependent on wetland habitats than the American species, its decline in Central Europe has been linked to the drainage of small rivers. 
although land improvement and river dredging certainly resulted in population decreases and fragmentation, in areas which still maintain suitable river ecosystems. The decline of European crayfish has been proposed as a factor in the drop in mink numbers, as minks are notably absent in the eastern side of the Urals, where crayfish are also absent. The European mink was historically hunted extensively, particularly in Russia, where in some districts, the decline prompted a temporary ban on mink hunting to let the population recover. The Russian desmin is a small semi-aquatic mammal that constructs burrows into the banks of ponds and slow-moving streams, but prefers small, overgrown ponds with abundance of insects and amphibians. It often lives in small groups of two to five animals, and appears to have a complex communication and social system. Decidedly rich and thick in nature, desmin fur used to be highly sought after by the fur trade. Consequently, the Russian desmin is now a protected species under Russian law. However, due to loss of habitat, water pollution, illegal fishing nets, and the introduction of non-native species like muskrat, population levels continue to decline. The natural habitats of the Montseny brook newt are oligotrophic, cold fast-running rivers, it seems to be a strictly aquatic species. Its population is supposed to be less than 1500 individuals with an estimated rate of decline of 15% during the last 10 years. The drying out of mountain streams, human alteration of its original habitat and the global warming are threats to this species. The Iberian lynx was once present throughout the Iberian Peninsula and southern France. In the 1950s, the northern population extended from the Mediterranean to Galicia and parts of northern Portugal, and the southern population from central to southern Spain. Populations declined from 15 subpopulations in the 1940s to only two subpopulations in the early 1990s. It prefers heterogeneous environments of open grassland mixed with dense shrubs. The Iberian lynx is threatened by habitat loss, road accidents and illegal hunting. Habitat loss is due mainly to infrastructure improvement, urban and resort development and tree monocultivation, which fragments the lynx's distribution. In the 20th century, rabbit diseases such as myxomatosis and hemorrhagic disease resulted in a dramatic decline of its main prey. Illegal traps set for rabbits and foxes were leading causes for lynx fatality in the 1990s. Every year, several Iberian lynxes die when trying to cross highways with heavy traffic. The Barbary macaque is of particular interest because males play an atypical role in rearing young. Because of uncertain paternity, males are integral to raising all infants. Generally, Barbary macaques of all ages and sexes contribute in alloparental care of young. Its diet consists primarily of plants and insects and they are found in a variety of habitats. Males live to around 25 years old while females may live up to 30 years. Besides humans, they are the only free living primates in Europe. About 230 macaques live on the rock of Gibraltar. This population appears to be stable or increasing, while the North African population is declining. It is threatened by fragmentation and degradation of forest habitat, poaching for the illegal pet trade, and it is killed in retaliation for raiding crops. The Balearic shearwater has the typically shearing flight of the genus, dipping from side to side on stiff wings with few wingbeats, the wingtips almost touching the water. It is under severe threat from the development of holiday resorts near its breeding sites, which can destroy or alter their natural breeding habitat, and also from introduced animals such as cats and rats. 
The discovery of Yelkowan shearwaters in the Menorcan colony suggests that hybridization may also pose a problem. It feeds on fish and mollusks and does not follow boats. Like all lynxes, Balkans lynx live mostly independent lives except for mating and raising cubs. Lynxes occupy territories marked with special gland secretions, urine, or feces. The most serious threats to the Balkan lynx are the low population size, habitat degradation, and poaching. Poaching affects the Balkan lynxes both directly and indirectly. Hunters that hunt the small wildlife and game indirectly harm the Balkan lynxes by restricting their source of food, such as roe deer, chamois, and hares. It is illegal to hunt Balkan lynxes but there has been evidence that there is a market for Balkan lynx fur. Also, some stuffed lynxes are seen as decorations in some restaurants in the countryside of Albania and North Macedonia. Tourists' resorts and recreational activities have little to no effects on the population, whereas sport hunting and ski resorts can disturb the population within the national parks, where the majority of the Balkan lynx's habitat. The degradation of habitat is primarily in Albania, where logging has taken its toll on the environment and negatively affects the Balkan lynx. The Adriatic sturgeon is an urohaline species facultatively migratory, which lives also into the sea but spends most of its life in the lower part of the rivers. It tend toward an opportunistic feeding, swallowing substrate together with prey and organic matter, including small decaying carrions. In the rivers they mainly eat diptera larvae and small fish, which they suck up with their toothless, funnel-like mouths. The main threat that Adriatic sturgeons face is damming, which involves the fragmentation of the habitat and prevents trophic and spawning migrations. The building of a dam severely modifies the river habitat upstream and downstream for many kilometers. Another important problem is pollution of rivers by industrial effluent, agricultural runoff and civil wastewaters. Like other members of its family, the angel shark is a nocturnal ambush predator that buries itself in sediment and waits for passing prey. It normally poses little danger to humans, though if provoked, it is quick to bite. Since the mid-20th century, intense commercial fishing across the angel shark's range has decimated its population via bycatch, it is now locally extinct or nearly so across most of its northern range, and the prospects of the remaining fragmented subpopulations are made more precarious by its slow rate of reproduction. As the right whale continued to float long after being killed, it was possible to flence or strip the whale of blubber without having to take it on board ship. Combined with the right whale's lack of speed through water, feeding habits, and coastal habitat, they were easy to catch, even for whalers equipped only with wooden boats and handheld harpoons. For the period 1970 to October 2006, humans have been responsible for 48% of the 73 documented deaths of the North Atlantic right whale. The combined factors of small population size and low annual reproductive rate of right whales mean that a single death represents a significant increase in mortality rate. A 2011 analysis of data collected has shown that exposure to low-frequency ship noise may be associated with chronic physiological stress in North Atlantic right whales. The habitat of the Mediterranean monk seal has changed over the years. In ancient times, and up until the 20th century, Mediterranean monk seals had been known to congregate, give birth, and seek refuge on open beaches. In more recent times, they have left their former habitat and now only use sea caves for these activities. 
Often these caves are inaccessible to humans. Often their caves have underwater entries and their caves are often positioned along remote or rugged coastlines. Scientists have confirmed this as a recent adaptation, most likely due to the rapid increase in human population, tourism, and industry, which have caused increased disturbance by humans and the destruction of the species' natural habitat. Because of these seals' shy nature and sensitivity to human disturbance, they have slowly adapted to try to avoid contact with humans completely within the last century, and, perhaps, even earlier. The coastal caves are, however, dangerous for newborns, and are causes of major mortality among pups when sea storms hit the caves. The bastard sturgeon was formerly abundant in the Black Sea. The healthiest population is one in Lake Balkash in Kazakhstan, well outside its natural range, where they were introduced in the 1960s for commercial purposes. It has been reported that this fish has the highest relative fecundity for any sturgeon species. The Bozda grasshopper, is an endangered species of Orthoptera that is endemic to Bozdig mountain in Turkey. It has retreated up the mountains over time, and the habitat for this species is now small, isolated and damaged. The Maltese skate is a species of fish in the family Rogidae. It is found in the Mediterranean Sea off the coasts, its natural habitat is open seas. It is threatened by habitat loss. In 2010, Greenpeace International added the ray to its seafood red list. The Greenpeace International seafood red list is a list of fish that are commonly sold in supermarkets around the world, and which have a very high risk of being sourced from unsustainable fisheries.